Happy Labor Day weekend, cadre. Uh, CB Lindsay here. Going to do one of my rare uh, speaking videos. I'm going to do a, a quick uh, shave this uh, Sunday afternoon before Labor Day. Um, it's been a busy weekend for me. Uh, maybe you've already seen it on the forum. Maybe you haven't. But um, my uh, website, CB, uh, cblsoap.com, has gone live. So those of you who have uh, been looking for your own CBL soap, you can now get some. I've spent uh, evenings, many an evening, uh, for the past few weeks getting stock ready and uh, working, more recently working on a website, something that I wasn't planning on doing uh, until I had to redo a website for my office. Um, and that, uh, that kind of opened the door so that I had the ability to do uh, sub-category uh, websites or sub-websites. Of course, a website is only part of the battle. you got to figure out how to make that thing into an e-commerce location. That's not easy. Or at least not for me, it wasn't. Uh, soap for today is um, it's one that I made um, on video a couple weeks ago, my uh, Soap Making 101 video. Uh, this soap is uh, mostly stearic acid uh, with, um, I think I used some soy wax in it and coconut oil. And then I scented it uh, in what I called um, Fifty Shades of Vetiver. It's a gray, uh, Tom Ford gray vetiver clone type of scent. Um, it's close, but to me it lacks a vetiver. Uh, I've tried. I've added more. Um, but uh, it just doesn't pop out. But this is um, kind of a Martin de Condre type of recipe, so it should be plenty slick. It's not something that I use regular, but I thought I would. The brush for today is the Rubber Set 400 uh, with a TGN uh, finest knot in it. It's a really cool knot. Uh, gel tips. I didn't even know what that was until I got this this uh, knot here. I'll be using the uh, Feather SS loaded with a ProGuard blade. Uh, we don't see this out much, so um, hopefully we don't uh, flay my face. All right. Okay. Um, so back to the CBL soaps. That's one of the things that I wasn't I kind of been dragging my feet on doing something with that. Um, I knew you all, you all wanted to get your hands on some. But committing to making sure there was enough available to make different scents, that was kind of hard to do. I've said for a long time, making soap's not hard. Um, it's not. It's. I can give you a recipe right now, like we did on soap making 101. You know, make a good soap. In fact, if you look at some of the uh, artisans out there, their recipes are mo no more uh, unique or or complicated than what we did on that video. Some, in their case, the artistry kind of comes from how they make it smell. Uh, you know, a basic soap with a good smell just makes us all happy. And I, my hardest challenge has been making stuff that smells the way I want it to. Um, I like strong smells. I like to smell it. I guess it doesn't have to be a strong smell. I like it to be strongly scented. So the soaps I make tend to be strongly scented. If I can smell it, you're probably going to smell it too. Um, problem is, as I was making more and more and more, even my wife couldn't smell it. Well, I smell soap, Chris. Uh, meanwhile, take it away and put the tub away. 
a little bit later, randomly open it, and she'll say, what's that smell? So clearly it's there. We're just working too hard at smelling it. I made one soap called uh, a Ghost Lime. It's got a uh, unique uh, cooling agent in it. Never had a lime soap. I like it. To me, the scent is more almost lime jello like, not zesty. You know, there's a difference between kind of lime and zesty lime. Both would be good, but this one just turned out to be more, to me, lime jello like. I'll be making more of that. There's not a lot of it on the website, but I'll be making more of that. Uh, of course, back ordered some scents. So the shaving cadre scent is delayed. Some label material I was supposed to get yesterday. Shows delivered. It's not there. Gotta love that. Um, of course, my wife says you should complain. To who? So I've had to work around some of that. Um, like I said, I've been working hard to get the website up and some inventory. So pop on over there, see if there's something you like. I did try to put up inventory of stuff that, or list of stuff that's not available yet. So you'll know what's coming. So if there's something you want um, that's not there, I just think it's fair that you that you know in advance so that you can kind of hold off. No reason to order a whole bunch of times. Um, Chad and I worked out some details. It's hard to, to well, being one of the guys that buys all the soap, you know, you know look under our cabinets um, there's things we like so I'm trying to make from a business model standpoint make it so that we can, we can buy stuff from CBL soap the way we would want to from other places flat shipping 450 I think I can make that work PO orders. No one wants to do those. Not that hard. Yeah, yeah. The computer system that's supposed to do it isn't doing it, so I just do it manual. You know, if I had dozens of those all day, every day, and that would cut into my free time a lot. I'd like to think that my prices are pretty good. Um, I think that my profit margins, of course, can be better once um, I'm able to bulk order if I end up going that direction. But right now, prices are reflective of the materials and the, uh, the work. Oh God, there's more work in it than you think if you're gonna make it for sale. So I have a whole new respect for the for the artisans that that have had um, a good uh, business model all along. I mean, you look at uh, Ron over at Grumatorium. He he cranks out millions of orders, man. He or used to anyway. I don't know. He's he's still doing it, but he just I don't know if he's back in business yet. He moved, but. Just the mechanism. Um, 
receiving them and filling them and stuff, at least through the, the way I'm doing it, is tedious and horrible. Fortunately, I'll have my wife able to help me during the day so I can do my regular job. We've decided um, that there will be some craft stuff up there on the website eventually. Or, you know, individual one-off type stuff. If I make something of interest, if she makes something of interest, there is something that I'm working on having somebody make it so it's available to, every, to the guys anyway that want to buy something for the wives. Um, I won't tell you what it is, but it's it's just something that... When I found out that I could have somebody make it that cheap, I just figured I'd pass it on. Of course, she makes it cheap. You guys don't pay any more than what she pay, charges for. All right. Well, that soap's plenty slick. Not as protective as I would like, uh, as evidenced by the blood. Um, Good bloodletting works. Proves I can clot, but that's also a, uh, the the uh, ProGuard blade is it's done. It's had plenty of use. And it was tugging quite a bit, and I think that caused a little bit of, of issue. So we'll go ahead and add insult injury here. Yeah, that feels good. Nothing like it, I'll tell you. So, um, Chad's mentioned before that uh, there's some exciting things going on in the journals or in the in, for the cadre that's going to go in the trash. Uh, and there is, there's a lot of stuff going on. And uh, the soap sample swap, soap sample exchange, um, that's kind of a cool idea. I, I have a whole drawer full of stuff. And, just haven't been able to find the time, obviously, to uh, uh, dig out and make samples of, but I will. Um, and uh, at some point, perhaps, I'll get some samples of my own soaps in there, but I think what you guys are after are samples of the, the soaps that are, that are out there already. Um, who's in front? It's been a bad day. Might as well feel... A little bit more pain here. Go with the Florida water. Yeah, that feels good. There's no way to put way to put it. That hurts. All right, that's some good stuff. Feeling better already. See, I add menthol to my Florida water, so it's iced Florida water. So I get the. It's almost like a clove feel that you get from it. And menthol. So, well, there's the shave. I uh, just wanted to announce that the CBL soap is up and running. Um, you'll notice that uh, on the forum that uh, the user for CBL soap is CBL soap. Um, it's because CBL soap is a different entity. Um, at this point, uh, we're still figuring out uh, some uh, some exciting things to bring. Uh, there's going to be the TSC, uh, the shaving cadre scent. Uh, I think Chad's mentioned that. It's um, Neroli, um, Vetiver, Lime, um, but it has some other stuff in it. It's um, bergamot and lemon. Um, I put some stuff in there so that it kind of becomes a more unified scent. Um, I'm surprised how well it worked. I really liked the Lime and Vetiver. Um, so there's going to be a Lime and Vetiver on my... Uh, available. Um, don't know how much, but um, I like it enough to, to need to do that. So let's see if we can save the shirt here. Yeah. Um, so there we go. I hope that you guys uh, enjoy the rest of the Labor Day weekend. Um, school starts for most everyone, but um, uh, next week. So the roads will be busy and um, I'll be back to work. Uh, so I will uh, be a little bit less time on the uh, actively posting on the forum, uh, but I think we'll be seeing you around. Hey.